Hello right, guys. Jim here. It's the 21st of uh, June, longest day of the year. And I'm sitting here waiting for a NASA Express coach to take me to Winchester to start the South Downs Way. A hundred mile hike over seven days. I'm hoping to do it in less, but that would mean 20 miles a day. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm really up for this. <laughs> it's a spur of the moment thing. I've been planning to do it for ages. And I was hoping to do it in the, the end of uh, May, but for reasons we couldn't do it. Anyway, I've bit of it. Book ticket. All the way. Little rucksack and tarpin all the way. Uh, very little money. <laughs> so I don't know how it's going to end up. I probably won't complete it. I don't know. But it's going to be fun. Just sitting on the weather. Uh, it's going to be in the 30s midweek. And it's a big chance of heavy thunderstorms for two or three days. <laughs> it's not looking good. But it's going to be an adventure. So take it along. <laughs> Bye for now. I was finally at Winchester. It took six hours by coach to get here. Yeah, Alfred statue. So just got to check the out front where it's trying to go. Right, so this is the start. The South Downs way. Oh. I never really decided to go home. I was stuck in London, Victoria Station, for an hour and a half, and I hated it. So much going on, too many people about. My anxiety levels went sky high. Uh, I just wanted to get out of there. Uh, I'm here now. Weather's all right. It stays that way. This is a good start. Less than half a mile. Oh, I've got a split headache. It's from being stuck on that coach for so many hours. Oh, some quarter six this morning until quarter past twelve. Obviously, an hour and a half stop at Victoria. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a long old journey. But I'm here now. Take some tablets in a minute. Put plenty of water. Uh, I just want to get out of the town and on the trail properly. So they forecast thunderstorms for Wednesday, I think. Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, who knows? But it's definitely going to be hot and humid, which is my Achilles heel. Always drains me, does me in. So, we we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, just crossing the noisy M3. And then we should be into lovely countryside. I hope you can hear me quite loud. Oh. My battery's nearly out on this camera, really. I ain't done much recording. It's a bit naff. The charge is up. <laughs> Alright, back later. And now we're out of the downs. Nice start. Ooh. Oh god, I'm only a couple of miles in and I'm struggling already. It's the heat, blaming that, and the hills, and the fact I'm unfit, and fat, and old. Nice. My kids would love a trip like that. 
Anyway, just to be first for a little water. Water tap down there. When the sun goes behind clouds, it's cooler. I'm getting a bit better, but oh, I think I the pack as well. There's so much stuff in there, as, as always. All right, about the same energy to get up this hill. Look at all those poppies. Seeing these poppies behind me. It's gorgeous. The scenery is lovely. Over there, there's a field full of them. Yeah. Yep. Look at that over here. It's gorgeous. Oh, about three and a half miles in now. Oh, seems like a long way to go. Looks like a nice sheltered spot. I might sit in our front to eat, drink and rest for a while. And get out of this sun. Oh. Five minutes of rest, cool down a bit. It's a group of blokes keep, keep leapfrogging each other. <laughs> they stop for rest and I overtake them and then I stop and they overtake me. I don't know if they're doing the whole route or not. Oh. There they are, look, over there. That's the way I've got to go, I think. Still trying to find my pace at the moment, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a struggle. But I've got to remember to slow down. I've got all day to do it. Trouble with me is I'd like to rush things and then knock myself out. So yeah, the aim today is only at 12 miles um, because I start, didn't start till late. Uh, and find somewhere to pitch up. Don't know where. And then tomorrow, if I get up really early, I'll try and do 20 miles, if not more, depending on how hot it gets. But so I'm not going to rush it, I'm just going to take it nice and easy, plenty of breaks, and see how it goes. All right, back to you later. There you go. Come on, Luke, frogged them again. The trouble is, I want to keep videoing stuff. I've only got two batteries of this camera. Um, once they've gone, they're gone, I've got nowhere to recharge them. The GoPro, I can recharge it, but the quality's not as good as this. Uh, and then I've got my phone, which I can do 4K on, I didn't realise until the other day. But I won't, I do 1080 if I need to use that. That's all I manage. All right. Well, I'm enjoying this at the moment. Uh, water refilling point and bike repair. So, it's not bad. I just filled up the water. It's me. Ooh, sweating. All right. It's only 20 to 3. It feels like later. But then I did start to well, grab up R4 to catch the 5 to 6 coach. So, probably why it seems longer. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the old trot. Just over six miles now, and it's quarter past three, so we're halfway today. Oh, yeah, I'm going to begin to feel it now. 
I think I've definitely overfilled this bag. <laughs> Live and learn. There's a few clouds building up now. I don't think it's going to be any rain today. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not. I'm keeping the uh, walk through from camera to the minimum because 100 miles is enough, long enough as it is. Well, it happens to go to and fro a bit of camera up. <laughs> so, well, I think it warrants it, I'll do it, but otherwise I won't. Just shots of the views and, and this ugly mug. Sorry about that. Right. Hello, right, guys. Eight and a half miles in now. I don't mind me in. I am knackered. Another four, another four miles before I find a place to pitch. How I'm going to cope with them tomorrow, and because I'm sure I'm going to wake up with really bad legs. But we'll see. I can't even blame, blame the heat now because the cloud come in and it's a bit of a breeze, it's quite cool. So. Me and my age. Oh, far. <laughs> Hello, guys. Well, this is where I've ended up. At Beacon Hill, it's called. A lovely view. Uh, I'm hoping to. Wild camp down here somewhere. I've just dropped this camera on concrete. Um, it seems to be working, but I don't know if it's done any damage to it, whether it's going to be alright. When I say I dropped it, it's on a tripod. I put it down, but when the legs wasn't out properly, it just toppled over. Hit the ground. So I'm not happy. Anyway, I am totally shattered. I can't wait to go to kit now, but it's been too early to set up the setup. It's uh, only quarter past six. But it's a lovely area, huh? So I don't know what's happening uh, tomorrow. I'm going to sleep tonight, see how I feel in the morning, because my legs are killing me. Um, and really, ideally, I want to do more than what I did today. Yeah at least 15 miles and hopefully 20 but you know, if it takes really that bad in the morning I might not be able to. So I should have done more training before I started this. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna excited to eat. Catch you later. There's a lot of cows down there. <laughs> Jesus. What a beautiful sight. There's me home for the night. It's not pretty, but it's functional. It's uh, 10 to 8. But I'm so knackered, I've got ways to go to sleep now. So. I bid you farewell well, and I'll see you in the morning, hopefully. And I'm hoping my legs are going to be alright, so we can continue this adventure. Bye for now. You can hear that. How 
Howdy do. Through. Do you know what, guys? I'm really enjoying this tarp camp here. Yeah, let's we'll see what's going on. Well, yeah, a few bugs and stuff, but it's nice. Yeah, I can go for this. It's nine o'clock. It's still daylight. But I'm shattered for a 12 mile walk today. Up and down the downs. <sighs> All bit of fun though, isn't it? So, yeah, this might be the way to go in the future. I might invest in a DD top 9.9. .9. It's a bit more room. Made it in there for the right, the, um, the right one. A bit more expensive, but less weight. Let's check with the boss first, though. Michelle, love you. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. See you in the morning, guys. Good night.